Hi, today is the first time I'm going to attempt to talk through while doing the Ashtanga primary series, but I'm not going to speak in Sanskrit. Um, I do know some of it, but it's not my thing. And if you're following along, sometimes I think English and regular words might be a little bit easier to follow. So that's what we're going to do today. And um, it's a primary series. It takes quite a while. You can do as much as you're able to. You can always stop and shavasana or so stop and then just lie down for a little while after 10, 15, 20 minutes, 30 minutes, whatever you you can do. Um, it starts with a warm-up. There's standing poses, seated poses, and it's going to be a good time. So follow along or watch along if you want, if you just want to see what this is. This is I've been practicing Ashtanga yoga for uh, a few years now, not every single day, but a lot of days, at least once a week. Uh, and it, it really helps even just having that once a week class. If you want to learn more about me or my teaching or learn more about anything, yoga, more videos, then subscribe to my YouTube channel for one. But otherwise, find me at ashleyjonas.com. There you'll find a lot of links to other things, blog posts, videos, all of that. And yeah, so let's get started. It's going to be weird because I typically practice this just on my own. It's uh, following your own breath. A lot of the poses we hold for five breaths. And that's it. So I'm going to talk through this as if I'm just doing it on my own. So stand up nice and tall. Ground the feet into the floor. Lift the kneecaps. Draw the shoulders back, down. Take your hands at your heart. Close your eyes and take a few deep breaths in and out through your nose, setting up your breath and a good intention for class. We do a sun salutation A. Take your hands by your sides. Reach up, inhaling. Exhale, open the arms, swan dive down. Inhale, lengthen, look forward. Exhale, step back to plank pose and lower right down to a low plank. Lift the heart up dog, look forward. Exhale as you round your back, lifting up, tailbone up to downward facing dog. Press the heels to the floor, gazing down at your knees, hold for five breaths. On your fifth exhale, jump forward or step forward. So fold, lift up halfway, inhale. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise tall, hands up to the sky. Connect the hands, a little back bend. Exhale, hands by your side. Inhale, reach up, there's number two. Exhale, fold forward. Lengthen. Step back, maybe other foot this time. Elbows into the side of the body, lower. Lift, heart open. Exhale, look down and lift the tailbone. Heels press to the floor again, five breaths. Tuck your chin, belly in. Step forward, half lift, inhale, exhale down, full breaths, inhale, rise up, straight legs, flat back, hands by your side, there's number two, number three, reach up, fold forward, lengthen, jump back to low plank, up dog, inhale, Exhale, round your back, downward facing dog. Tuck your chin, 
Heels slightly turned out, fingers spread wide. Back to five breaths. As you exhale, look forward, bend the knees, jump forward. Landing softly, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise up, hands up, connect, look up, hands by your side. Reach up, number four. Exhale, take it forward, fold down, straight legs. Lengthen, inhale. Jump back, exhale, lower, up dog. Exhale, lift up and back to downward facing dog. Five breaths. One. Two. Three. Four, five, jump forward, lengthen, exhale, fold, stand and rise, flat back, hands by your side. Last one, five, reach up, inhale, swan dive, forward fold. Half lift, jump or float back, landing softly, lower, up dog, inhale, exhale, downward facing dog. Again, five breaths. One, two, Three, four, five, jump forward, lengthen, inhale, exhale, fold, inhale, rise and stand, hands by your side, was that number five? Yeah, it was. I oftentimes lose count. From here, sun salutation B, we start standing. Bend your knees, take the arms up. Chair pose, hands connect, look up. Exhale, fold forward, straightening out the leg. Half lift, jump back, low plank, sometimes called chaturanga, that's Sanskrit though. We can call it low plank, up dog. Exhale to downward facing dog. Step your right foot forward. Keep exhaling. Rise up, warrior one, reach. Exhale, hands to the floor. Step back, low plank. Elbows in, up dog, lift, inhale. Exhale, downward facing dog. Left foot steps forward. Back heel spins down, rise up, reach, inhale. Connect the hands, look up. Exhale, hands to the floor. Step back, low plank. Lift your heart. And exhale back to downward facing dog. Five breaths. One, two, <clears throat> three, four. Five, step, float, or float forward. Lengthen, inhale, exhale, nose to knees. Inhale, bend the knees, sit back, chair pose, reach the arms up. Now release it, standing tall. Bend your knees, hands circle up overhead. Exhale, fold forward. Half lift. Jump back, exhale, lower down. 
Inhale, lift the heart. Exhale, back to down and facing dog. Step your right foot forward. Warrior one, rise up. Hands to the floor, low plank. Lift up dog. Downward facing dog. Step your left foot forward. Rise up. Inhale. Exhale, hands to the floor. Step back. This is number two. Up dog. And downward facing dog. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Jump forward. Half lift. Exhale, lower. Bend your knees, chair pose, arms up, inhale. Hands by your side, straighten the legs, exhale. Inhale, chair pose, reach up. Exhale, fold. Lengthen. Jump back. Lower down, up dog, heart open. Exhale, tailbone to the sky, down and facing dog, step your right foot forward. Reach up, warrior one. Hands to the floor, step back. This is number three, reach, lift up dog. Exhale, roll back, step left foot forward. Reach up, inhale. Warrior one, two, low plank, step back and bend the elbows. Up dog, downward facing dog. One, two, Technical difficulties. Three. Four. Five, jump forward. Half lift. Lower exhale. Bend the knees, sit back, reach up. Hands by your side, stand. Two more. Bend your knees, arms up. Fold forward, exhale. Lengthen the shoulders back, inhale. Jump back to low plank. Exhale, inhale, lift up dog. Exhale, down dog, right foot stepping forward. Reach up, spinning back, heel down, more you one. Hands to the floor, step back, low plank. Up dog. Should be building heat by now. Step the left foot forward. Reach up. Exhale to the floor, step back, low plank, up dog, inhale and exhale, take it back to downward facing dog. One, two, hopefully this becomes a resting pose and that's why we practice five breaths, three, You're gaining strength to hold this long time, long for long amounts of time. Four. Heels down a little farther. And five. Take it forward. Half lift. Exhale, fold. Bend your knees, chair pose. Sit back, reach up. Release. Standing pose. One more. Bend your knees. Arms circle up. Exhale, fold, lengthen, jump back, lower, up dog, heart lifts, exhale, down and facing dog, right foot steps forward, keep exhaling, inhale as you circle the arms up, hands back to the floor, step back, plank, low plank, up dog, down and facing dog, step your left foot forward, reach up, Hands to the ground, step back, lower down, up dog, downward facing dog. 
It gets repetitive, but oftentimes repetition is the key to mastery. So keep doing these poses each and every day. You'll get stronger, longer, leaner, and looser. Two. Three. Four. Five. Jump forward. Half lift. Exhale, lower. Chair pose, sit back, reach up. Hands by your side. So you can't do anything fancy until you master the basics. And even when you do fancy stuff, you gotta keep doing the basics. Now we get into the standing pose and standing series. Hands on your hips, jump your feet, hip distance apart. Take an inhale, look up. Exhale, fold forward, grab it onto your big toes. Inhale as you lengthen again, looking forward. Exhale, pull yourself down, nose between the knees. Ow. And breathe, five breaths. Three. Four. Five. <laughs> Lift halfway, lengthen the back. Now slide your hands underneath your feet, palms on your feet, toes kissing wrists. Exhale down. Inhale, lift again. Look forward, exhale down. Fold deeper, five more breaths. One. Two. Three. Four, four, five, hands released from under your feet, lift halfway, inhale, hands on your hips, exhale, inhale, lift, all the way back up, and jump the feet together, hands by your side. Now take an inhale, kick your right leg forward, then back, open up, turn your right toes to the back, triangle pose, reach along with the right hand. Grab your big toe with the right finger to the index finger, middle finger. Look up with the left hand. Pull up on your right toe. Inhale, we're switching. Lift up. Pivot to the front. Reach straight with the left leg, toes forward. Reach along with the left hand, grab your big toe. Reach up with the right hand. Keep looking up towards that right thumb. Press your upper body back in line with the legs. Lift it back up. Rotate to the back, right hand down to the outside of right foot. Right, right, left hand down to the outside of right foot, right hand up, twisted, revolve triangle. Hip square to the back, again gazing up towards the right thumb. Lift up, inhale. Rotate and switch. Right hand down to the outside of the left foot. Left hand up high. Stack the shoulders. Square the hips. Straighten the legs. Lift up, inhale. Step to the top of your mat. Take your right leg forward and then back again. Open up, this time a wider stance. Bend your right knee, turn the right toes to the back. Bend the right knee, hand to the outside of the leg. Hands places on the floor by the pinky toe edge of the foot. Left hand reaching up overhead. Look up towards left arm.
Each pose is about five breaths. Lift on the inhale. Switch sides. Left knee bends to the front. Left hand to the outside of the pink, pinky toe to the foot. Right hand extended overhead. Long length through the right side of your body. Inhale to bring yourself up. Now we're revolving, so we're twisting in that same pose. Left elbow comes across. Oops. Left hand on the floor. Right hand up overhead. Bend the right knee. Look up. Now this might be a little too intense or deep, so you can lift the back heel, take the back knee to the floor, or, or anything like that. Back up, let's try the other side. Twist it. Exhale to get deeper into the twist, right hand to the ground, right heel to the floor. Reach left hand up overhead. Lift back up, inhale. To the front, step to the top of the mat. Standing at attention, sometimes known as Samastitihi or mountain pose. Okay, inhale, right leg forward, then back again. Open up, this time just wide legs out to the side, hands on your hips, exhale. Inhale, look up. Exhale, fold forward, hands to the ground, right under the shoulders. Lift up halfway, inhale. Try to get your forehead to touch the floor. Exhale. I've got something going on in my right hamstring, so this is tough on one side. Just meet your body where it's at today. You have permission to take it easy. It's okay. Lift halfway, inhale. Exhale, hold. Hands on your hips, inhale, lift. Exhale, hold. Inhale, reach. Exhale, hands back on your lower back, your hips, your waist. Lift on the inhale. Exhale, flat back, hands staying on your hips, fold forward. Back up, inhale, lift, exhale, hold. Inhale, reach long, side to side. Exhale, hands behind your back, interlace the hands, press down, look up. Inhale, and exhale, fold forward. Wrapping the hands, interlaced hands, to the top or front of the room. Stretching out through the shoulders, the front of the chest. Lift the kneecaps, feel like the tailbone is lifting. Stand up, lift, inhale. Exhale, release, hands on your hips. Inhale, look up. Exhale, last one, hands, find your big toes as you fold. Inhale, lengthen, look forward. Exhale, fold down deeper, pulling on your toes, getting in deeper into the hamstring stretch, bending the elbows. Release the hands, lift halfway, inhale. 
Exhale, hands on your hips. Inhale, lift. Step to the top of your mat. Oh, ow. <laughs> okay, once again, inhale, kick forward, then open, stepping back. Turn to the back of the room. Take hands in reverse prayer at your back. Shorter stance this time. Hips square to the back. Exhale as you come forward. Pressing the elbows and shoulders back. Nose towards your knee or to your shin. Pyramid pose. Lift back up, inhale, turn to the other side. Exhale, fold over left leg. Back heel stays down, front leg, both legs straight. Lift it back up, inhale, release the hands, open. Step to the top of your mat. <sighs> Standing balance pose. Left stays down, left leg stays down on the ground. Grab hold of your right big toes with your right hand. Left hand on your hip, extend. Inhale, stand tall. Exhale, nose to your knee. Find your balance, straighten your leg. Lift up, inhale, straighten leg out in front of you. Exhale, take the leg out to the right, opening up in the hip, and look over your left shoulder. Deeper breaths, inhale forward. Exhale, knee to nose again. Inhale, lift the upper body. Exhale, let go of the toes, point the toes, hands on your hips, extend that right leg. Lift as high as you can. I think that was five. Oh, ow, <laughs> lower down. Woo. Other side, grab your left toes with your left hand, right hand on your hip. Inhale, lifting. Tall, exhale, nose to knee. Inhale, lift back up. Straighten the leg, exhale, take it to the left. Look over your right shoulder. Bring it back to the front, inhale. Exhale, knee to nose again. Inhale, let go or stand up tall, exhale, let go of your foot, five breaths. Point the toes, lift the leg, hip flexor, core strength. Lower down. Oh. Okay, this one, there's a huge imbalance in my body, but there might not be for you, I don't know. Standing hip stretch, hip balance. Take your right leg up, right foot to the inner crease of your left thigh and your left hip, right knee. Trying to press straight down. Take your right hand, wrap around in your back and find your big toe. And then fold forward, hands to the floor. Exhale as you come down, half lift, inhale. Exhale, fold down again. 
take five breaths. Lift halfway, inhale, hold, exhale, stand up, inhale, release. Other side. So you'll notice a big difference if you're actually watching. Lift the leg, foot into the crease of the hip. Left hand reaches around, finds a big toe, wrapping around the back. Exhale as you fold forward. Half lift. Exhale, fold down. Nose to knee, palm on the floor. Lift halfway, inhale. Exhale, hold. Inhale, stand. Let go of your foot. Reach up, inhale, stand tall. Exhale, fold forward. Half lift, inhale. Jump it back, low plank. Lift up, dog. Down and facing dog. Right away, we jump forward. Feet together, bend your knees, sit back, reach the arms up. Chair pose. Look up at the thumbs. Weights in the heels. Number five, we're going to exhale, hands to the floor. Now this is just a transition. Lift the heels. You can always skip it. Lift the heels, open the knees, knees into your armpits or upper triceps. Look forward. Lift your legs, lift your toes. Crane pose, arm balance. Strong exhale as you jump back to low plank. <sighs> Lift up dog. Downward facing dog, step your right foot forward. Warrior one, rise up. This time we're holding it. Look up at the thumbs. Bend the front knee, hips squared forward. Shoulders are soft down the ears. Now switch sides, straighten the front leg, pivot to the back. Keep looking up, challenging the balance. Hands to your heart. Open up to warrior two. Arms wide, left hand forward, right hand back. Bending deep in the left knee. Look up out over your left fingers. Switch sides, straighten the left leg, pivot to the front. Transitioning, hands to the floor, kick the back leg up, hand stand, lift, and then back down, low plank, up dog, down and facing dog. That concludes our standing series. Headed to seated poses, bend your knees, look forward. We're going to do a lot of jump throughs and jump backs. Cross your ankles as you jump through, knees to your chest, legs forward. Hands by your waist, press down. Pull the toes back, shoulders back, chin tucked, five breaths, staff pose. On this exhale, fold yourself forward, grabbing onto your big toes. We have 15 breaths in a forward fold. Half lift, inhale or actually just lengthening, inhale, and exhale, fold it down. Think of moving your body forward 
and down. You've got three different positions here. Use whatever one works for you at the time. Lengthen out, inhale. Exhale, take the hands over the tops of the feet. And exhale. Inhale, lengthen, look up. Exhale, now take your hands around the sides of the feet. You can interlace your fingers or grab one wrist as you pull down. Nose towards your knees, forehead to your shins. Lift back up, inhale, cross the ankles. Inhale as you pick up, roll back, shoot it back, low plank. It's not going to look perfect, but that's okay. Jump back and do uh, what we call vinyasa or that low plank up dog to down dog. Jump through again. This time coming right into reverse plank. So swing your legs all the way forward. Slide, lift, point the toes, toes to the ground, hips high, look back. Lower the hips, swing them through the hands, lift your knees, cross the ankles, take it back. Low plank, up dog, down and facing dog. Jump to just seated again. Left leg forward to start, hip stretch. Left leg forward, right leg into the crease of the left hip, just like we did when we were standing. Right hand around the back, find the big toe, pull the toes back, reach forward, exhale. Five breaths, press the right knee down towards the floor, and nose towards your left leg. Lift back up. Inhale, cross the ankles, lift. Exhale, jump your back. Up dog, inhale. Exhale, down dog, jump through. Right leg forward, left leg, left foot into the crease. Left hand around, finds a big foot, big toe. Reach forward, exhale. Five breaths again, as always. Lift it back up, cross your ankles, inhale, exhale, take it back, jump back, up dog to down and facing dog, jump through. This time left leg forward, right knee stays bent. Roll this calf away, sit down, right butt cheek down, extend the left leg, take a breath in, before you fold forward, exhale, reach for the foot, try to keep the right side of your body down as you fold forward. Lift it back up, hands by your sides. Lift your hips, jump it back. Up dog, and down and facing dog. Jump through, right leg forward, left knee stays bent. Quad stretch on the left side, hamstring on the right. Lean to the left, push down, and fold forward, exhale.
not going to look perfect. Probably never, and that's okay. A practice that is yoga poses, yoga practice. Some days better than others. I'm currently struggling with <laughs> tightness up my entire right side of my body, which I feel like I think stems from driving. So different things you do or you grew up with, different activities can make a big difference in your flexibility and strength. Okay, we're gonna take it back, press in the floor, lift the legs, exhale, step or jump back. If you can, float back, up dog, down and facing dog. Jump through, right leg bent, left leg forward, right foot to the inner thigh, turn your body over that left leg, exhale, fold forward. Grabbing your wrist or your foot. This is the first version of three in this series. Okay, lift it back up. Cross the ankles, jump back. Low plank to up dog. Inhale, exhale, downward facing dog. Jump through, right leg forward. Left foot to the inner thigh. If you want, you can reach up to inhale, exhale, reach forward, folding it down. Lift back up, cross the ankles, jump back. Go through that usual flow. Jump back through, left leg forward. The right foot can stay on the inner thigh or keep the toes pointing forward and sit with your heel in your butt and your foot and the, the sit bones on the arch of your foot. Turn over that left leg, exhale, fold it down. This is number two in the series of three. Lift back up. Jump back. Jump through, right leg forward, left foot to the inner thigh, then you lift up and sit on the foot. So your left leg's about at an 85 degree angle, so a little less than 90, and you fold over right leg. <laughs> don't force it, I'm saying that so I can remind myself, don't force it. I don't know what I did to my hamstring, but obviously it wasn't good. Injuries often stem from your body telling you to slow down. Maybe you're too busy in life, too busy doing too much in your workouts. Take it back. Cross the ankles, jump back. Your body and your mind have a silly way of telling you you're doing too much. It likes to hurt you. Jump through. Number three in the series of three, left leg forward, right foot in, and you can take your toes, turn them down towards the floor, rotating the hip, scooch forward, press your foot into your thigh, this may hurt your toes, and fold over the left leg.
Lift it up. Ow, wiggle the toes. Cross the ankles and jump back. Other foot, jump through. Right leg forward. Left toes, turn them down towards the floor. Scooch forward. Good enough. Now, nope. Bring it forward, fold over that right leg. As you can see, I am not perfect. Some days I am more flexible than others. This, this actually is a, a day that I'm feeling very tight. Lift back up. But like I said, that's not gonna stop me from filming or from, from doing this and showing people this is my practice. It, it, the poses, everything else, they come and go. Poses come and go over a lifetime. I mean, we deteriorate over our lives. So, I'm just gonna keep doing what I do every single day. Okay, jump it back. Because tomorrow, I'm not promised tomorrow. I'm not promised I'll be any better tomorrow. So why not make the most of today? Jump through. And I got four versions of this one. Left leg extended, right foot in, heel close to your butt, your toe and toe is about a palm distance away from your thigh. Take your right hand to the inside of the leg. Wrap it around, trying to close this gap here. Wrap it around, you can hug your knee too. Left hand around your back, find the hands, connect them, and fold over, trying to touch your nose to your left knee. Lift it up. From here, you can pick up, float back. Somehow, get back there. Step back, lower. Up dog, exhale, down dog. Jump through, taking the right leg forward. Left knee bent, hug it close to you. Exhale as you reach forward. Take that left hand around your leg, right hand around your back. Wrap it, wrap it up, hold it, bind and then nose to your knee. Trying to get your left sit bone to the floor too. But that's gonna come in time as well. It is nice to have a teacher to assist once in a while too, but when you're on your own, it's only so much you can do. Okay, take it back, cross the ankles, jump back. Jump forward, jump through, version number two. Right leg extended, this time left foot into the inner thigh in the crease to your half lotus. Take your right knee and bend it. Same pose, hopefully it doesn't hurt the top of your foot. Right hand to the inside of that knee, wrap it around, left hand around your back. Try to touch your forehead to the floor. Lift up and jump back. Inhale, press, lift. Exhale, jump. Lower. Up dog. Down and facing dog. Jump forward. Other side, left leg extended. Right foot into the inner thigh. Bend the left knee. Left hand reaches to the inside of the leg and around the knee. Right hand behind your back. Clasp your hands and Fold, forehead towards the floor.
Move the back up. It's about the time I get pretty tired, but I tell myself, I got this, I can get going. <sighs> Jump back. Up dog to downward facing dog. Jump through. I'm going to do some seated twists. Left leg forward, right knee in. Now again, keep your foot about a palm distance away from your thigh. Take your knee, and I like to do this, you take it towards your body or push it in. Right head behind your back. This twist so we can start to bind. You take your shoulder elbow all the way around, just like binding in that last time, except we're twisting this time. Look back over that right shoulder. It's hard to talk and twist and breathe. So here we go, breathe deep. Pull the left toes back, keep the left leg active. Bring it forward and jump back. Other side, jump through. Left knee bent, right leg extended. Right arm across. You can easily just press into the elbow or start to bind it, closing the gap between your armpit or your shoulder and your knee. Take it forward again. Jump back. Every time you jump back, it's like you're resetting your spine. Resetting your body. Jump through. This is the fourth and final variation in this series, in this little sequence. So you extend your right leg. Same thing like we did that first, that second side, that second variation. Bend the knee, half lotus with the left. Bend the right knee, twist to the right. This time over the right leg. Let's see, this microphone might not be too happy with me doing this. We're going to take our arm all the way across and then slide it up. This one's a big one. Lots of stuff going on. And oftentimes, you know, like I said, I've got some tightness, so my upper back isn't too happy, but we're working on it. There's no way. When I first started practicing, I could not do that even close. So, is it three years later, two, three years later of practice? I'm not able to actually finally get it, but if you do or don't, again, it doesn't matter. It's not what you're doing, it's how you're doing it. Okay, we're gonna jump back again. Reset, lower, up dog. Down and facing dog. Jump forward. Through the hands. Right leg, no, right leg bends. Half lotus with the right. Bend the left knee. Scoot yourself forward so you're sitting close to your left heel. Twist to the right this time. Or twist to the left this time. I take an exhale. So take a big exhale as you reach across. Don't force into it. Just find your limits. Slower breath, especially in these twists. You're more constricted, but the more you breathe in, the more you lengthen. That exhale slowly to slow down your thoughts. Bring it back to the center. Whew. Jump back, lift and jump, or step like I just did. Lower, up dog down facing dog.
Jump through the hands into boat pose. You can sit on your butt, lift your legs. Five of them. Five breaths each. One. Two. Three. Four. Lift the chest. Five. Cross your shin bone and calf. So cross your ankles or so. Hug your knees to your chest. Hands on the floor. Pick your butt up. Lift back. Boat pose. Cross opposite ankle over the top. Lift. Keep your feet up. Butt up. Lift. Down. That's number two. Here's number three. Lift. Four. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Lift. <laughs> no, hands off the legs. Lift. One. Two. Three, four, five, hug it in, jump back. Low plank, up dog, oh, feels good. Down and facing dog. At this time, we can practice some handstands. So if you can, taking both feet, bending the knees, coming up on the, heat, the toes, both feet to jump up. Chaturanga to up dog and down and facing dog. Okay, here's where it gets tricky. At least a little bit more. I'm starting down dog, jump your feet to the outside of the hands. And my hips, my, like I said, my right leg's really tight, so this is not gonna look pretty. Jump, out of the hands. Try to make a backpack with your knees. So you take your knees over your shoulders. Squeeze your knees in, hands on the floor. About down, down dog distance with the hands. Bend your knees so you're sitting. Take your ankles together, cross your ankles. Lift your feet off the floor. Hold it. Oh no. Now hug your knees. Have your feet up and in and take your forehead to the ground. Keep your feet off the ground. Keep lifting the heels, hugging the knees to the shoulders. Maybe lift back up. This can be challenging. Oh! Find a firefly pose. Wee! And then transition. Bend your knees, swing your back, jump back. Up dog. Downward facing dog. So that's a lot on the wrists. Hopefully they feel okay. Jump forward again to the outside of the hands. Same dealio, almost the same. Take your knees in, take your knees over the shoulders, over the shoulders. Bend your knees, sit down, all the way down. Hands extend long, feet forward, and forehead to the floor, tortoise pose. This is not that fun, but we do it. This is about all of our hamstrings, poses, and our stretches led us up to is this. Keep hugging your knees on your shoulders so you don't hurt your elbows. Now we transition. Take your hands, knees, feet closer together, hands behind your back. I'm nowhere near this right now. But eventually, hands would connect and your feet would be over your head, cross-legged. Am I there? No, I could use a strap, but it takes 
a second person to help me into this because you're kind of pretzel-like. So it does take some help. I'm just going to stay here for a little while. You know, I just, I feel in my body that I want to stretch out this way, but it's not allowing me to. Okay, lift back up. Hands, come back forward. You're going to lift, come back from where you came from. So hands on the ground, lift your butt, lift the legs, sweep them back, jump back. Up dog. Down to facing dog. So when that is over with, I am happy. Bend your knees, jump through. Sit down. If you have some uh, a spray bottle, this often helps. We're going to take our legs in lotus, full lotus. One over the other. And the hands go through the legs. Now, if I had some spray, it might help, but I don't. So take them through as much as you can. So eventually, you'd want both hands through. Bend your elbows and touch your chin. This is about as far as I'm getting right now. Yeah, and you lift up, hold it. Hold your legs up. If not, if you don't want to take your hands between your legs like this, take your hands around your thighs and pull it up. Seems like every day in this pose is, is something different for me, depending on hips and knees. Then nine circles, nine times we roll back and forth, making a complete circle around to the right. So we lower, roll around. Four. Oh no, I lost my phone. Five. Six, that really hurts. Seven. Eight. Pause. Eight. Nine. And if you can, come up onto your hands here or hands on the side. Hold. Lift your butt. Lower. Now keeping your ankles crossed, you're going to roll forward, transition. Hands into your belly. Jump the legs back. Shoot the legs back. Lift up, up dog. Down and facing dog. Jump through the hands. Exhale. Sit. Take your feet together. Two poses here. Grab onto your feet. Open them up like you're reading a book. Lift the chest, flat back. Elbows to your thighs. Exhale forward. Trying to get the forehead forward and down to the floor. Press your knees down. Lift back up, just inhale. Exhale, now we round your back, taking your forehead to the toes. Lift back up, cross your ankles, jump back. When you're in down dog, you jump through again. Take the legs wide. So up tall, okay, this is where my hamstring is really bothering me, so you do you. Fold forward, grabbing the outsides of the feet. You can roll it down, chin to the floor, forehead to the floor, chest to the ground. And come back up. I was supposed to pop back up, but that's quite difficult. So I'm going to bend my knees and lift up. Right here. Look up. Find your balance on your sit bones and tailbone. Okay. 
Cross your ankles, press in the floor, jump back. How's it going so far? Are you still watching? Still, still up to date on it? Playing down dog, jump through again. This time roll all the way back. Lift the legs, take the feet wide. Grab onto your big toes behind you. Straight legs, press to the, through the backs of the knees. Okay, exhale everything out. Inhale as you rise up, lifting to that balance pose again. Lift, hold, just for a second. Exhale, calves on the floor first. Chin to the ground, touch. Bend your knees, jump back. Jump through again. Lay back. No resting yet. Take the right leg up, grab your big toe. Left hand on your thigh, inhale. Exhale, nose to knee, do a sit up. Inhale, head back down. Exhale, take the right leg out to the right side, opening up in the hip, gazing to the left. Lift it back up, inhale. Exhale, nose to knee, one more time, switch. Left leg up, right hand on your thigh, point the right toes. Straighten that left leg. Exhale as you bring your nose to your knee. Let's do a sit up. Inhale, head and shoulders down. Exhale, take the leg out to the left. Look away from the legs, out to the right. Lift it back up, inhale, exhale, knee to nose. Exhale, feet down. So this next thing, I don't know what is called in English. In Sanskrit, I just say chakrasana because it sounds cool. Chakrasana. It's a backward somersault. So I come forward a little bit. Hands will be by my shoulders, and my momentum will carry me over to a low plank. Up dog, and down and facing dog. Jump through again. Lie back down. Legs up overhead, plow pose, feet back. Grab your big toes with your fingers. Full exhale out, inhale as you rise up to balance pose. Hold, look up. Keep breathing and cross your ankles. Pick up and jump back. Lift up dog, exhale, downward facing dog. Jump through again. Lay all the way back, roll the feet back. Plow pose, reach back with the hands, this time finding the place between your toes and heels. So the outsides of your feet, the arch of the feet. Full exhale, straight legs. Inhale, rise up to a balance pose. Point your toes, then bend your elbows, hug your elbows in, try to sandwich your, your body onto your legs and look up. You're folded in a balance. Relax the shoulders. Good 
Cross your ankles, bring it in, jump back. <laughs> Up dog, downward facing dog. Jump through. This next thing is like a weird pose, but we're gonna do it, I think. I'm gonna adjust my hairs to lay on your back. If you wanna just take a regular bridge pose, that's all right. So you're gonna adjust your hair as you come down to the mat. Take your feet out, so you can do regular bridge pose or feet out, push into the feet, push into your elbows, get the top of the head to the floor, arch the back, right here. Then push into your feet, lifting, toes up wide, hands on your shoulders, cross your arms. Back down. I don't know what the purpose of that is, but whatever. Backward somersault. That is our seated poses. That's the finale of the seated poses. So now we're coming into closing postures, the finishing postures. We start with Urdhva Dhanurasana, or a wheel pose, or a back bend. Got a few of them. So we take our feet close to our backside, take the hands by your shoulders, fingers towards your toes. And the first one, you don't have to go super deep because we're doing three. You just lift to the crown of your head, adjust and then lift. Now to rest, you come down just to the crown of your head. Hold, walk your hands closer to your feet a little bit. Press back up. So we get deeper. Come back down, crown the head, hands. Walk back farther, head closer. You'll stay down, push up. We've got five of what we call pick up and drop backs. You can do this against the wall or with someone else, or try it yourself if you can do it. Lift up, stand, and take your time. This is where yesterday I just about blacked out, just because that motion, it's a really deep back bend, can be very energizing. Also, your circulation gets a little trapped, so careful with that. Hands at your heart. Lean back, so this forward motion, bending the knees and adjusting your weight forward as you reach back, rather than just thinking back, think you're also leaning forward. So forward, see my knees bending, forward, drop back. Lift back up. Ooh. Today's not my day, but that's again, okay. like I said, it's okay. Exhale as you drop back. Exhale as you come up too. Because that's engaging your core as you exhale, you're engaging. That five. One extra. And you sit down. <laughs> I don't know what the transition is for that. A little bit of a headache, so we forward fold. Straight legs, we've been here before, you take 10 breaths.
Move the back up. And every pose from here is 10 breaths because we're slowing down. Roll back onto your back. Lift your legs. Legs will lift up overhead. Shoulder stand. Elbows on the floor. Hands on the mid back. Straighten the legs to the ceiling. From here, take your feet way back behind you, keeping straight legs. Interlace your hands, press the knuckles, pinkies to the floor. Point the toes. Plow pose. Bend your knees around your ears. Hug your knees against your ears or your, the temples of your forehead. Okay, from here, you're gonna lift your legs. Cross one leg over the other. It gets a little tricky, but we got this. Lotus pose, up in, shoulder stand. So you're gonna balance on the back of your head and shoulders. You take your hands to your knees, the outsides of the knees, and straighten the arms. Your chin might tuck on your chest. Just make sure there's space between the neck and the floor. And take your knees towards your body, wrapping your hands around your legs, pinning yourself together. Keep balancing. Release your hands and slowly roll yourself down. Slowly, core strength. Draw the knees to the floor. Grab your big toes. Maybe not yet. You're gonna press your elbows to the floor. Back bend. Look back. Head, top of the head on the floor. Now grab your toes. Lift your chest. Press the knees to the floor and breathe. From there, keep the back arched, straighten the legs, but a 45 degree angle. Point the toes, hands connect and reach towards the toes. Look back, breathe. This one's a hard one towards the end. But you got this, keep it up. Lower down. I don't know if that was 10 breaths, so I just guesstimate sometimes. Backward somersault. Shift forward. Roll back. Now 
Little plank up dog, down dog. Headstand. For headstand, you're gonna interlace your hands. It's not a tripod headstand. You're gonna keep your elbows in, interlace your hands, take to the top of the head, or just behind the back, just behind the top of the head. Just in front of the flat spot on the head, it goes on the floor. Elbows in, so you press into the elbows and the shoulders. It's an elbow shoulder thing. Not a lot of weight on your head, actually. In fact, your head could be off the ground. Tuck the toes under, lift the legs. Inch, walk your feet forward. And straightening the legs, lift them to the sky. Press into the elbows, you'll feel those shoulders start to activate. If you're wearing rings, be careful, it might hurt your fingers. Take about 10 or 15 breaths, lift the legs lifted. And then bring the feet to, or the hinge at the waist, the hips. Bring the feet straight out from your hips. So it's a 90 degree angle, half headstand. Just a few breaths. Bring it back up, hold a couple more, five more breaths. as slow as you came up, bring the feet slowly down, feet to the floor, open the knees, sit back in child's pose, keep your head on the ground, extend the arms forward. Okay, lift the upper body, bring the legs forward, sit down in a seated position, cross leg, lotus pose, whatever works. Take your hands behind you. If you can grab your big toes with both hands, go for it. I can't, so I'll just grab my elbows instead. Breathe in and then take it down, for forehead to the floor, and keep your eyes open. It's 10 breaths here. Lift back up, take the backs of the wrists to the knees, straight arms, connect the index finger and thumb, point the fingers, look down, tuck your chin, 10 breaths.
Take your hands by your waist. Pick up 10 breaths, maybe shorter breaths. Lower down. Roll forward, jump back into the back of dog, down and facing dog. From here, we are just gonna go straight to Shavasana. So turn around, lie back. Let your body rest, recover. And that's all we have today. So you can rest here as long as you like. Take some time to recover, close your eyes, let your body melt into the floor. Thanks for joining.